Line. We're really going to see mainly rain by this afternoon and then we'll transition to more lake effect snow as we get into Monday and Tuesday. So that's what our watches are actually for our winter storm watches um, for Cuyahoga, Geauga, Ashtabula, Lake County. Again, those primary snow belt regions. So that's what we're going to be watching primarily Monday and Tuesday. Behind the system that moves through today, we do get a wind shift. So we're going to kick off that snowfall. The heaviest snowfall is expected to be a later Monday and into Tuesday. So some of those snow belt areas could see at least three to six inches, possibly even more where those heavier bands persist Monday night and into Tuesday. Now notice um, the rest of us not really picking up much at all. So if you're say south of 480, definitely not looking at a significant snowfall event for you. It's primarily going to be those snow belt regions that we keep a close eye on. Again, this is primarily Monday and especially Monday night into Tuesday. Right now, though, definitely feels cold enough to snow. Temperatures starting off chilly in the 20s. We do have a bit of a wind chill factor out there, especially out towards Elyria. Feels like just 19 degrees right now. These temperatures are going to get a boost. We're going to have a breeze kicking in from the south. We do have some passing clouds out there so far this morning. Dry for right now. If you've got any plans that involve getting something done outside, or if you want to get through any travel plans with dry conditions, the earlier the better for today. We've got the next system just off to our west. Um, that snow is starting to approach western Michigan, western Indiana. All of this is part of a larger system stretching uh, really north to south across a good portion of the country. Notice we've got snow to the north, rain to the south. We're going to see mostly that rain heading our way by later today because again, our temperatures are going to get a little bit of a boost. National Design Mart hour by hour forecast shows that southerly wind in play. We may sneak in a little bit of sunshine through the morning. We're dry through about lunchtime at least. And then as we get into the afternoon hours, notice the rain primarily starting to move in. We're very close to that rain snow line, but for right now, it looks like we keep this primarily rain showers through the afternoon and some of those will continue into the evening as well. Tonight, those become a less steady as heavier rain, steadier rain moves off to the east, but temperatures will be dropping. So through the overnight, a chance we could get more of that lake effect impact and maybe some flakes or some mix in the picture into tomorrow. Temperatures are going to be much colder. We're going to hover in the upper 20s, 30s. Winds are going to be coming in from the west and it's going to be a strong wind. So that's going to kick up some of that lake effect snow primarily around and east of Cleveland for tomorrow. Um, so areas to the south, not really going to see much as far as snow is concerned. The bigger Thing it's going to be those cold temperatures and the wind chill on top of those cold temperatures. Monday night into Tuesday, watch what happens. That wind does kick up, puts good snow bands up into some of those uh, traditional snow belt areas. So the heaviest snow expected to fall there Monday night and into Tuesday. That's when we're going to get most of our accumulations there. The rest of that Union Home Mortgage seven day outlook, we are looking at temperatures slowly improving once we get past the chill and the wind and those lake effect snow for Monday and Tuesday. Those temperatures start to climb back up. We're back into the mid 40s towards the end of next week. Carmen.